Okay, today you're going to apply your shading techniques that you've learned in the last couple of days to shading the sphere. First, you're gonna get something to trace a perfect circle. I'm just going to use a lid, and you're going to draw very lightly a circle on your paper. Now, I'm drawing darker than I want you to just so that you can see it on the video. Next, you're gonna draw the shadow, and on this, you really want to draw it lightly. When you draw an oval or a circle, you use your whole arm, okay? So I'm just kind of dragging the bottom of my hand as I make a circular motion with my hand. And that's how you're gonna draw this oval down here. You're just gonna go around and when you think you got it in the right spot, you're gonna make it a little darker. Now I have an oval for the shadow. I don't need this part in here, so I'm going to go ahead and erase out this part of my oval because you cannot see the shadow through the sphere. Okay, we're gonna break one of the rules that I taught you. All week I've had you draw, or shade rather, from right to left, so sideways. You're going to shade this entire thing sideways except for the sphere. You're going to actually shade in the direction of the sphere. That's gonna help it look a little more round. So the way you're gonna do that is you can turn your paper a little bit so it's comfortable, and you're gonna start making this up here on the top right-hand edge a little darker. Okay, so I'm gonna put my hand inside the sphere. I'm still holding my pencil sideways, and I'm going to start adding a dark value. It's going to gradually get lighter as it goes inward into the sphere. And as I get down close to the shadow, I'm not gonna make it too dark. So if you'll notice, it starts to lighten up here. If you made the shadow too dark down here at the bottom of the sphere, that dark would blend into the black edge of the shadow. So I'm gonna lighten up just a little bit down here You want your shading to be really soft. You don't want to see lines. And you want to gradually make the value lighter as you go in. And it's going to disappear into white. Now, it's already starting to take shape. I don't have it dark enough yet up here. It needs to go all the way to black. So I'm going to use the tip of my pencil to get right on that edge. We've been holding the pencil sideways so that we're shading with the entire edge of the pencil lead. But right now, I just wanna get the tip of the pencil to get on that edge. And then I'm gonna hold my pencil sideways again and blend that black line in. You do not want to see a dark black line. You wanna see a dark edge that fades into the rest of the sphere. Okay, I'm blending it in now because it was a little too dark. Okay, so there still needs to be some more shading in here. It needs to go into light gray and probably a medium gray down here at the bottom. Now I'm gonna start on the background and the shadow. So on the shadow, it needs to be dark all the way up into, until you get to this edge here on the sphere. So I'm going to start to lay down a dark value. I'm shading right to left. I need to clean up my line here for my shadow. Okay, my goal is to make all of the outlines disappear in this drawing. The only thing you're going to see are differences in darks and lights. So you're gonna see 
this black edge of the shadow against the medium gray of the sphere, and that's what creates a line. Okay, again, you can use your tip to get in there and make it precise, but make sure you blend it in going right to left, side to side. Remember, you can always go back and make this darker. It doesn't have to be completely black right away. In fact, it's better if you do layer a little bit. It'll have a softer look to it. Okay, now my sphere is really starting to take shape. Again, my value on my drawing needs to be as dark as this here, and you want it to be really dark up here because the light is shining from the left and it's casting a shadow on the table. So as the light goes around, it's slowly getting darker. Okay, now on the background, you want this line here to disappear. Okay, remember I said no line should be showing. So the only way to make that line disappear is to make one side or another darker. So I'm gonna make the left side darker like I have on my example. So I'm gonna shade from right to left and I'm gonna slow down once I get to that edge. Okay, now I have just made a little bit of my line disappear because I've made the background darker and then my sphere is lighter over here. Okay, so I'm gonna slow down I'm gonna take my time, go around this side of the sphere. And work my way around, okay? Want the whole background to be about a medium gray. Over here, it is slightly lighter, okay? Okay. Um, I'll have this one up on the overhead for an example so that as you shade, you can look at it.